Danny Jeffries here, data and agronomy consultant with Huron Tractor. Uh, here today we're out in the field with a special new setup here and new piece of equipment, uh, very high tech. Uh, and joining me today is my colleague from John, John Deere, Julia Romagnoli. Is that <laughs> how you say it? <laughs> yeah, you didn't, you didn't do too bad. So as Danny said, my name is Julia Romagnoli. I'm a production system specialist with John Deere. Uh, so in my role, I look after the dairy and livestock production system. So everything from balers and tractors, all the way up to what we're standing in front of and we're gonna tell you a little bit about today. Yeah, so let's dive in a little closer here and look at some of the components here, Julia, and have a bit of discussion on what exactly this is and how it works. Cool, uh, so we have our, our 8R here, which you're thinking, okay, that's cool, John Deere makes tractors, we know this, but what's about this manure tanker on the end? And what we're gonna talk about today is something that's brand new for John Deere, and that's our Harvest Lab 3000 manure constituent sensing. And you may be familiar with this Harvest Lab. It's a technology that we've had out for about 10 years, and you would have seen it on our self-propelled forage harvester. So this is a near infrared sensor that mounts on the spout of a forage harvester and measures our moisture and also nutrients on the fly, documenting this data which is gonna feed back and give us a yield map where we can see how we can make better variety decisions or, or management decisions for nutrients. What's new in 2019, we can actually take that sensor and mount it on a tanker, just like what we're standing in front of today or drag line operation. In this context here, what we have today, we're gonna to be able to see the dry matter of that manure so we can see exactly what we're applying as well as the nutrients in that manure, the nitrogen, ammonia nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus. And this really is revolutionary, Danny. I mean, up to this point, if we were documenting manure, we would say we would know exactly our gallons per acre that we're applying, and maybe using a rate controller to initiate a prescription. This is the first time we can really drill down and see what's in that manure, and really harness the organic uh, fertilizer that we have in the form of our manure. So that's a little bit about that yeah. rig that we're, we're yeah, standing so we're in front of right here. Really <laughs> opening our eyes to something that we've never been able to get a good calculation on before, occasionally sampling the pit and drawing some information that way. But this is giving us some real time information spatially across the field, knowing exactly what was placed where. Let's, let's look a little closer, Julia, at the components, I guess, that make this technology work. So what are we looking at here? We're on the side of the tanker. Maybe tell us what's going on. Yeah, sure. So I mentioned we have our Harvest Lab 3000 sensor and that's what we're looking at right here. So this is the sensor that we're looking at. Um, the lens that uh, positions its way into the pipe is on this side. So it just looks through uh, what we call as our, our skateboard here. And that's gonna really view and document that manure as it's going down and through the pipe. The other thing we have here is um, some harnessing that's going to go up to go up to the tractor and to our display. We have our manure controller and that's going to document our data layers and send that to this, the display, which will then go into our operations center. The other thing that's a component that is a requirement and is an important uh, piece of the tanker, and that's also the, the flow meter here. Um, so this flow meter is going to tell us our gallons per acre, what we're applying, and the pulses from this flow meter are going to be sensed and recorded by our Harvest Lab 3000. Yeah, so on this Harvest Lab 3000, Julia, it's, it's the exact same sensor that's on the forage harvesters. And what's the technology that's inside of that sensor that enables it? It's uh, what, what kind of light is it using or how does it actually sense the nutrients? Yeah, that's a good question. So the same sensor can go on a forage harvester to a tanker to a stationary uh, tabletop analysis, which we'll talk a little bit about later. What's really different is it's using the same technology, so near infrared, and the best way to describe how that technology works is really the same way that your eye sees color. Um, so say uh, we're looking and we see that this sensor is green. Um, the sensor is using that same technology to tell it what nutrient composition it's looking at. Mm -hmm. What's different is in the sensor, we're telling it specifically that it's manure and we're telling it what type of manure. Uh, so here we have swine manure that we're running uh, in this tanker and we're gonna tell that to the harvest lab so it knows specifically what components to look for. 
And that really is built by our calibration curve that we, we have developed at our Intelligent Solutions Group at John Deere. Right. So these calibration curves, uh, they've probably analyzed thousands and thousands of samples, but what, what are we actually measuring in the manure and, and what is being documented by the 4600 in the display? Yeah, that's a good question. So um, what's happening is we're going to document and look at dry matter or inversely moisture. And for manure, we're also looking at the ammonia nitrogen, uh, the total nitrogen, potassium and phosphorus. This is going to be documented and it will go up to our display and the tractor as data layers. The Starfire receiver on the tractor is going to tell us exactly where we applied that nutrient and where. And then that will flow via JD Link up to our operations center so that we can use that for data analysis down the road. Gorgeous September day here. We're, we're out in the field uh, after bean harvest here, uh, spreading some manures. And with me is uh, John Art. So John, uh, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about uh, the farm you guys run here out near Mount Bridges. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my name is John Arts. Uh, we're on a cash crop hog and poultry farm just outside of Mount Bridges here. Um, we just put this manure sensor on our tank. It's a uh, new technology to us that we're actually super interested in because uh, it allows us to spread our manure out so that we can use less manure and get the same nutrient value that we're trying to target as well as um, have the technology connected to our operation center to see just how much nutrients we're putting on the soil. Yeah, so we've come a long way uh, with with the farm here. Probably five years ago, I remember sitting around the table in the backyard there and having a discussion with everybody involved and kind of started a journey towards integrating technology into the farm and, and John Deere products. And maybe you can elaborate a little bit and tell us about that journey and how how things have come together here over the past five years yeah uh, so probably about uh, five or six years we ago. went to the farm show in uh, Woodstock and we saw uh, John Deere equipment on display particularly the operation center and we were super interested in the operation center because it was able for us to record our work as well as use precision egg to essentially save money on the farm so we got into communication with Huron Tractor and um, we purchased our first 8320R in 2016. And then from there it's just been a spiral, slowly changing one piece of equipment after another. And just last year we purchased a combine with you guys and now we have the 8370R. Yeah, so it's been a, a journey and uh, I guess uh, getting all that data and that information gathered and helping you make better decisions on the farm and and this this technology here that we're talking about today is, is one of those pieces and and so you've been running it uh, I guess for a, a little bit this year it's still pretty fresh but what's your first impressions or your gut feel on how things are working and and what are some of the key features of what this is actually doing in the field yeah so far I'm very impressed with the technology uh, it has enlightened us to see just how uh, the nutrients values in our manure. And uh, as we're spreading on the field, it allows the tractor to automatically speed up and slow down uh, so we can accurately apply certain amounts of nutrients on the soil. So really that compared, uh, paired up with our uh, nutrient sampling, our soil sampling that we do on the farm, it goes hand in hand for reducing fertilizer inputs and um, increasing our yields towards mm -hmm. the end of the year. So overall, I've been very impressed and it's a very simplistic um, system to use at minimal training required and just about anybody can run it. Yeah, it's, it's really impressive how that, that tractor implement automation functions and uh, things work inside the cab there. And that's maybe something we'll talk about a little bit later on in the video, but really appreciate you joining us today and letting us uh, use your equipment here as a, a prop for our videos. and. Uh, yeah, thanks for everything today and... Yeah, absolutely, thank you. So we've been in the field, we took a look at that new 8R with our manure tanker and the harvest lab mounted on there doing manure constituent sensing. Now we're gonna pop in here to the service truck and take a look at this harvest lab in a new application. So earlier I mentioned that we can use this harvest lab on the spout of a self-propelled forage harvester and that it's gonna tell us the moisture on the fly as well as the nutrient composition of the crop that we're in. 
Now we can actually take that, that sensor off that spout and we can set it up in what we call a tabletop analysis. So here I have our Harvest Lab 3000 mounted with our stationary tabletop. And what I have is a bowl of feed. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna actually run an analysis of this feed and show you what the capabilities of the sensor are in this application. So what we have here is some dry feed. We're going to pack down this sample in the bowl. Notice that it's glass on the bottom. And what we have is a halogen light bulb that shines um, in through the lens onto this glass bowl and we're really going to get a good reading of the feed that's in this bowl. So it allows us to not only take a sample of that whole field on the fly, but we can take a bowl full of a sample at a time. So the intention here really is once that feed's fermented and you're feeding it out, you can see the change in composition. Calibrate your ration as dry matter changes throughout your bunk or, or your silo. So we're going to go ahead here and actually run an analysis. Okay, so we're gonna do an analysis here of this feed sample. So what I have is the Harvest Lab hooked up to the laptop, and this is our Harvest Lab 3000 interface. So I've pre-populated a measurement profile for this feed type. You can see the list here of our moisture, crude protein, acid detergent fiber, neutral detergent fiber, sugar, ash, and UNDF. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a new analysis. So it says, please place the sample material in the bowl to be analyzed. So we're gonna go ahead and hit continue. It's gonna spin that sample, really get a good view of that feed up against the bottom of that glass bowl. So once this analysis is done, the tabletop will stop turning and we'll get a readout of our initial um, profile of this feed. So you can see here we have Dry matter 72%, it's giving us our various values um, for feed. Now, right now it's telling me I'm 33% complete. We like to take the same sample and we want to mix it in the bowl, repack the sample, really to get a good picture of that feed. We won't do that today, but this just allows us to really get a good idea of everything that's in that bowl. So once I have this profile complete, I can go ahead and I can see an entire measurement profile that I can then save or send to my nutritionist um, to be able to work with them closely and, and better analyze our feed and, and work on our, our ration components. So that's just a little bit about uh, the Harvest Lab 3000 and how it can work in a stationary feed analysis.